What was your most memorable Fourth of July, Independence Day? Oh, gotcha. Something yeah, from yeah. your childhood, even that you can remember. And it doesn't have to be like a big, beautiful memory. It could be something funny or crazy that happened. Anything, yeah, my, Joey? mine, the most memorable, it's kind of a sad day in our hometown, but I was oh, probably, gosh. gosh, I'm trying to remember how old I was. I was like 10, 11, and we were lighting fireworks in our backyard. And my sister in law looked and says, That looks like smoke. And we were like, yeah, it's 4th of July, fireworks. Where, and just she's like, like in the sky? She's yeah, just saying yeah, it looks like, like smoke in somewhere? In the distance. Okay. Anyway, long story short, a kid in our town lit off a bottle rocket, landed in our cedar mill, which has a stack of logs, <gasps> like hundreds no. of logs. It is one of the main revenue streams of the small town of no, Troy, no, Idaho. No, 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 no. And he lit <gasps> the entire cedar mill on fire. Oh. So it is the 4th of July and oh literally gosh. there are 300 logs plus on fire. Probably more than that. They had, I think it was 28 fire trucks coming into our little tiny town. There were fire trucks from two hours away driving in to help with this. And the entire town came and sat there and we all watched the fire. And it was like a whole <laughs> town meeting. There were kids roasting I marshmallows. Laugh. I should not laugh. Yeah, uh, but it was so one kid in a bottle rocket. You all were watching yeah. the fire. So my most memorable 4th of July the biggest firework of all. When Did the you say cedar kids milk. were roasting marshmallows? Yeah, you could roast marshmallows from how far away it was. I mean, <laughs> it was it was so hot. I mean, think about it. Aww. 300 logs on fire. Like now, huge was anyone trees. harmed? I mean, I hope not. No, no I'm one was harmed. No one was harmed. It. And it really was. I mean, I felt terrible for the kid. He lit off a bottle rocket. He saw it start a fire, and no. he ran. Did he get in a lot of trouble? Yeah, I believe so. They chased oh. him down, I believe so. Yeah. But what do you do? I mean, Poor it was, guy. you know... You, should have gone down there with some water and gotten gotten rid of it real quick. Now I so, can see why that would be Yeah, that the most was most memorable. memorable. <laughs> but the best was my sister like, is that smoke? And we're like, duh, it's smoke. Are you kidding me? She's like, no, that looks like oh big smoke. Gosh. So when my town almost burnt down, that was the most memorable 4th of July. <laughs> well, I don't know how to follow that one. In fact, I was trying to think about this. Uh, one of my most memorable, I think we were engaged. Were we engaged or just married? We were really young in our relationship. And I remember we spent 4th of July with my family in Hayden. And we were on Hayden Lake, which the best way to do uh, 4th of July or Independence Day is on the lake. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you haven't done it before, it is fantastic. So we went out on my stepdad's fishing boat and we just kind of like... What do you, I don't know, cruised around the lake? Yeah, wait, I don't know. Uh, wait, float. What do you float? Yes, float. <laughs> that's the word. We just like floated there or anchored the boat, I guess. And we just kind of sat there, snuggled up in blankets and watched the fireworks above us from the lake. And it was amazing. It was fantastic. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, I love this one. Idaho be in my text line. Saw this earlier. Roman Candle Wars. The, you know those Roman oh, candles? What? Roman, Roman Candle, candle wars. wars. So actually, I have a friend that lives in Twin Falls that does this too and basically you take Roman candles and you fight each other with them and you wear like a <laughs> bunch of armor and you run around and you have like you let those Roman candles they'll just keep firing off and firing off that's terrible